Hey guys, what's up? Green Machine Sam back with another video. Okay, I guess apparently I waited too long in the main menu. But hey guys, what is up? Green Machine Sam back with another video. And today we have another 2K23 roster update guide. Now, of course, with the fact that the big trade of probably the preseason of the NBA season, right before the NBA season is kicking off, the cat for Julius Randle and Dante DiVincenzo trade has happened between the Minnesota Timberwolves and the New York Knicks. That is a big trade. And I figured I had some stuff just to update you guys on, mainly roster moves and stuff like that. So I figured we could just hop into things and I could show you guys. This is for PS5, 2K23, it's for PS5, 2K24, and up is cross-platform, so you can get it on Xbox. It's just new gen only at this point. There's no reason to be playing on PS4, in my opinion. I think, I, I we're, we're four years into the PlayStation cycle now at this point. If, if if everything that is true that has come out recently in the past, as well as if they stick to the same timeline like they have before, we're closer to the PS6 than we are to the PS5 release, technically. So it's just like, I think it's time to move on to the next gen. I understand that there's still sometimes might be hard in certain areas to get a hold of a PS5. I know financial situations, I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying I've moved on to this next generation, which I call current gen at this point. So first and foremost, you guys will want to head over to the Features tab, so hit go over to Features, then go to Create Roster, NBA Modern, Current, User, Created, and you guys are going to push Triangle on your controller, search by Online ID, uh, you're going to want to type in my PlayStation ID, which is Green Machine Sam, and then it should bring it up, uh, pretty easy to bring up, and then you'll get all my rosters instead of just having to worry about one or two of them, you can have all of them just right in front of your face. Any of the top four are the ones that you guys want to download. Any of them will work. All of them are the same, so it will not matter. So you can come down here and grab the one that has the most downloads or the least downloads. It does not truly matter. Now, of course, age, numbers. Jersey numbers are still hit hit or miss. Some rookies, I think, are just now finalizing their jersey number selections. You know, guys that were probably more than them likely, you know, it was a, a toss-up of whether or not they would even make the team. So basically a lot of the second-round picks. Uh, and then, of course getting contract extensions for some veteran guys like Joel Embiid, uh, Terrence Mann, and of course, Isaac Okoro signing back with the Cleveland Cavaliers. So here he is signing for $33 million. I think thir I think he wears 35 If he doesn't, I can fix that. That's not too big of a deal. Um, but still, a lot of the main roster are pretty much set. Now, of course, one thing that is kind of different with this 2K, especially if you've been watching my 2K24 roster updates, is the fact of the matter that I can't have three two-way guys. It's just not possible uh, in 2K24. I mean, in 2K23, they just didn't allow that yet. So you can only have two. So a guy like JT Thor is just on a regular contract for now because you can only carry two two-way players. So it's not as big of a deal. And it also does allow for a lot of the teams that had fewer players on the team currently to not be under that restriction of 14 uh, regular contracts. So it makes it a little bit easier. Now, of course, if you do have a lot of players like some teams do currently at the moment, they are moved to the G League teams. Now, some of these guys are just on uh, preseason and training camp contracts. Uh, but some of these guys are actually on the team, whether it's two ways or, you know, low end rookie deals or whatever. Uh, some of these guys are actually on the teams. There's not a whole ton of them like Ka Colin Castleton. He's a two way guy for the Lakers. I know um who's another guy Liddell is on a training camp deal there, there's not a ton of two-way guys down here at the moment as well as a guy like kind, kind of like uh where'd he go uh Kiete Bates Diop uh he got traded to the Timberwolves in the three-team deal with uh Charlotte and of course New York but because there's not an open roster spot for him I just moved him to the G League team so that'd be easier and then if somebody won't get auto cut you can kind of pick and choose and you should be able to call him up if you'd rather have him over somebody else like a pj dozier or somebody of that nature now there are still four teams that do have too many players of course uh one team being the blazers one team being the bulls and i forget the other two um it's it wouldn't be too hard to find you just scroll down here and if they have more than 17 players so it'd be four reserves then they have eight, and they have 18 players then you know that they 
would be having too many. So I'll just show you for an example on the Portland Trailblazers. Oh, they actually do have four. Uh, that's because, okay, maybe they're not ones. No, they're not one in on 2K23. Um, but there are team, there are, I think, three or four teams uh, that do have too many players. But it's not too terrible, uh, just that if they do have too many players, uh, here's the team, the Mavericks. Mavericks have five reserves. Do you know that they have too many players? They'll auto cut somebody. They'll probably auto cut Markeith Morris. They'll either auto cut him or somebody of the same nature that has a very low end contract. So just be careful with that. When you do go load into a my eras, it will try to cut somebody automatically. So if you do want to keep a roster a certain way, so if you just want to get rid of Markeith Morris before you save the roster, so that you can load it into your my eras, I would suggest doing that. It would just make it a lot easier on you. And you wouldn't have to worry about, uh, you know, a player that you want being cut. That's the main thing that I will say. Uh, the reason why I decided to move Towns to center is because I feel like they're going to be running a smaller lineup with OG, Josh Hart, Miles Bridges, uh, Mikhail Bridges, and Jalen Brunson, and then, of course, Cat. Just because of the fact, and it's also recently come out, that they are looking to shop Mitchell Robinson, and they are taking calls for him right now. So I assume they're going to run Towns at the, at the center. These guys are all kind of lanky and good wings. I think they'll fit in fine. They just won't have a true power forward against some teams that do have true power forwards, like the Bucks. Uh, but, you know, even teams like the Heat have had success not running a, a typical uh, power forward. They either run Jaime Hasquez, ha Haquez, or, you know, even Jimmy Butler at the four. It's a pretty good roster, right? Age, contracts, uh, overalls are all correct. Jersey numbers, for the most part, are correct. If somebody's jersey number is incorrect, let me know. I know I do have the retired jersey number guys correct. So a guy like uh, DeAndre Jordan on the Nuggets does have number six. And of course, there's a guy uh, on the Thunder that has the number six jersey as well. He should also have that. Yeah, Jalen Williams, the center. So, and then DeMontis Simone is having number 11 on the Kings, if you did not know that, is retired. So, there is a way to get those jersey numbers. But overall, like I said, very, very, very good roster if you guys want to go ahead and play with this. It's great to keep you over for the next half year. Now, remember, this roster will only be up until December of 2024 because the servers will go offline as soon as it clicks over to 2025. So, you will no longer be able to get the roster after 2025. I will be updating it until about the last week. I normally do the last update at Christmas time or around Christmas time. I might do it a little bit beforehand just because of the holiday season. I won't have a whole ton of time to do stuff because I will be traveling a little bit. But like I said, the best roster out there, hands down. Go play with this if you're still on 2K23. I completely understand if you're still on 2K23. I, I would actually play on 2K23 over 2K24 at this current moment. And then I will be updating 2K25 once this next offseason comes and as well as just when when i buy it as well right uh i i don't play a whole ton of 2k online it's just not my thing uh my team just to pay to win and my career also is to pay to win at this point and i just don't feel like grinding those i have other games that i like playing and enjoying um so I don't buy until either around Black Friday or Christmas time, whenever the biggest sale for the game kind of goes on, or even All-Star break, depending on when All-Star break is and how much they discount it even then. So I'll be updating once I buy 2K25. I just don't feel like spending the money on a game that I'm not going to be playing religiously, right? I don't play it a whole ton. I play, you know, my career sparingly. I play my eras pretty decently, but not a whole ton. But this is the best roster out there for 2K23, especially on the PS5. Like I said, updated overalls, updated jersey numbers, updated ages, updated contracts, updated everything that you need to really be able to run around and have fun for at least the remaining time that 2K23 servers are online. Now, of course, if you have the roster beforehand, before the servers go down, you'll still be able to play with the roster. Just, I won't be able to provide any more updates, and you guys will have to do the updating yourself if you want anything of that nature. It's a very good roster. Like I said, I'm going to continue to update it until the servers go offline. With that being said, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video or any of the videos here on my channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button uh, to basically tell me whether or not you guys enjoy these and, and if you guys want to see them going forward. With that being said, I'm out. Peace.